Hey guys, hello and welcome to a Blender tutorial video on modeling the Scorpion submachine gun. Now I'll do my best to explain everything in detail, so make sure there's no confusion. So let's start off by uh, just adding your basic cube here. And we're going to start off by making the handle area. <clears throat> now we're going to try and get as detailed as possible in this tutorial. Um, I will do low poly tutorials in the future, but that is not what we're going to be doing here. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do maybe a medium poly. That sounds good. So let's start off by just getting the basic size of this, and we're just getting a rough shape first. Let's get up just a little bit. Okay. So let's just select this top area right here. Let's drag it all the way up there. Let's take this side right here and turn it all the way to the edge. So you want to start off with a box that covers the entire area and then we can s sort of sculpt it away from there to get the shape. Just like that. Now what we're going to want to do is also form the upper receiver area. So we can form from here, so just like that and then also form from this area right over here. Extrude it out this way. And there we go. So there we go, we have a gun. No, all right. <clears throat> so what we're gonna wanna do first is make a loop cut by pressing Control R or on the, <clears throat> under the add, um, select loop cut and slide. And then we're going to change this to about 10. That looks about good. 10. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do with these 10 cuts, we're just going to select them and then move them in to fit the shape of the grip. So this part is pretty self-explanatory. All we're doing, and make sure you are on um, wireframe so that when you select these points, you are going all the way through the mesh. Otherwise, you just you just be selecting one point like that, and that's not what we want. <clears throat> so again, slide in like that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We will uh, fix any imperfections uh, later in the detailing stage. Again, it's just a rough shape. And just about done here. And there we go. And I do see some parts of the handle here are a bit um, are a bit off. We can fix that just by adding a loop cut right there. Let me scooch it down just a little bit. Select this point right there so we can get that, that edge, that flat edge on the side there. And also another one right here so we can do just the same thing. Just drag it out like that, maybe up just a tad. And there we go. Now we have the basic shape of our handle. Um, although at this time, I think what we're gonna do is select it all and then scale it down on the Y axis to, to make it just a bit thinner. Give it more of that gun feel. Just a tad more. There we go. That's looking, that's looking a bit better. <clears throat> okay. So now once we have that, we're gonna do a bit of shaping on the upper receiver area. So we're gonna to wanna to sculpt out this area right here. So again, let's just make a few loop cuts. Now actually what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna get rid of this area here and we'll extrude that out later. <clears throat> actually, no we won't. So, all we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna start with this over here because if we make the loop cuts over here first, that'll interfere with our sculpting on this side. 
So we're just going to add the horizontal loop cuts later. We're going to do vertical and then horizontal. So let's add some vertical loop cuts in this section. That looks about a 14. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to make sure my vertex select. And then we're just going to do the same thing as before. Again, this is still just a rough shape. We don't, not looking for anything perfect here. We'll fix that later in the modeling stages. Again, make sure you're in wireframe. You don't want to be selecting just one side. You just want to fit the contour of the gun. And just about done here. Just a few minor tweaks in these areas. And there we go. So now we have a basic gun shape. Um, so let's go ahead and do this area now. So for this, because um, the part that we need to sculpt out is on the side, if it's on the right or left side, we're going to want to make horizontal cuts. If it's on the top or bottom, you're going to want to make vertical cuts. So here, we're just going to make some horizontal cuts. That's about good. And we're going to, again, do the same thing. Here, we're just going to throw that one over there, and we'll change that later. Fitting the contour of the gun, following our reference. And there we go, not too bad. So, we do have quite a bit of polys right here. That's okay because that'll help us detail these areas later on, such as um, the ejection right there. Um, and eventually that will help us go into the upper receiver. So, let's go ahead and do the trigger guard right around here. Now this can be a bit tricky depending on where your cuts are. Um, so, I'll try and do this the best I can. <clears throat> so actually what we're going to do, we're going to move this edge over just a little bit. So we have in this edge. So what I'm doing is outlining this beginning area of the trigger guard with my edge loop so that I can extrude from the bottom here and get a good start on it. So let's go ahead. See, we can be in, in solid mode while we do this part. And select that bottom face that's right above the start of the trigger guard. We can extrude it down just like that. Rotate it just a tad. and make a, a loop cut in it. So this is where we're going to start the actual trigger guard by extruding from there. <clears throat> and it's important that you cut it in half because we are going to be scaling this down. And um, see, if we just scaled it down with both of these right there, if we had both of these faces selected connected to the main body and we try to scale that down on the Y axis, it would actually bring in the sides of our gun like that. And that's not what we want. So that's why we're just doing it on the side here. So if we select these two, we can scale it down on the Y axis without it affecting the main body of our gun. So let's go ahead and select this face. Let's start extruding out by pressing E. Let's grab it down, rotate it. So far, so good. Just follow your reference <clears throat> as closely as possible. And um, I will be putting this reference in the description if you want to follow along uh, with exactly what I'm doing. But if you want to find your own, that's perfectly fine. And this doesn't just apply. The, these, these methods don't just apply to this gun alone, obviously. You can use these for any other type of gun or any other type of model that you want. 
Oops. This looks like I'm nearing the end here. And we see right here, the trigger guard sort of thins out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude this. But I'm going to scale it on the Z axis. So S and then Z. I'm going to scale it down to thin it out just a little bit. Because that's what it does here. And then I'm going to continue extruding. And rotating it. And all we're going to do is just make it going straight into the main body just like that. Now, what we're going to need to do, this trigger guard is way too big. So what we're going to want to do, select the edges of the trigger guard. Probably could have done this before we started extreme, but that's fine. Select all the edges like that. Whoops. There we go. And we're going to want to hit scale and then Y. So we can scale that down on the Y axis. And then we have that all scaled down just like so. And now we have the basic shape of our gun. <clears throat> and in the next episode, we'll start getting into the upper receiver and the trigger and a little more detail on what we've already done. So thanks for watching this first episode of how to model the Scorpion submachine gun. Um, please like, comment with any questions, and subscribe. Thank you.